Um, I taught this poem to a student once and he said, this poem really kind of brings back some bad memories because when I was playing in sports as a young kid, my parents were totally into it and we got to the very final moment and I had the opportunity to win the game and the drive home in the van was very, very quiet as my, my competitive parents didn't know how to say it's okay. They tried, but they couldn't quite get the words out. Why couldn't you? He said, I could tell. They wanted to say it. They wanted to blame me for losing. And he says, looking back, and now I'm a freshman, I was 10 years old. Seriously? 10 years old. And I was put in this situation where I realized I was kind of like the loser, and I let all these people down. And the minute that I missed... There were all the people and the groans, and he said, in my own parents, and he took them days before because we made it to the final game of this big tournament, and we were supposed to then win the tournament, and everything was set up for me to be the winner, and my friends even for the next few days treated me different. And he said, I still remember all this. And it's made me hate sports. I wouldn't do it through middle school. I wouldn't do it in high, I'm not going to do it in high school. You put me in a situation at 10? Of course, the flip side of that is, isn't life about competition? How do you go through li life living without some understanding of competition? We, of course, take go all the way back to our stories of Homer and the Odyssey. In our Greek heritage, this is a huge part of how we define ourselves. You've you're got to do something that's competitive where there's a winner and there's a loser. A lot of my students say, I don't like that view of the world. I think there's got to be a better way to see the world. I'll leave that one up to you. Well, there you go, a very famous poem, and I'm happy that I got to share it with you, Casey at the Bat. Thank you.